so let us discuss dharma chemistry in the last session we discussed about the heat of formation so let us redefine the heat of formation heat of formation is principally to form a compound from its constituent elements one mole of compound one mole of compound will be formed from its constituent elements at standard conditions of 25 degrees centigrade and one atmosphere one atmosphere pressure or it can be 101.3 kilopascals so these are the standard conditions for example here carbon dioxide formation you can see the carbon dioxide is formed from its constituent elements so it's a constituent elements means they should be in the stable format they should exist in the nature in the stable form so graphite plus oxygen it forms one mole of co2 gas h2 plus half o2 gives rise to one mole of water similarly graphite plus oxygen plus h2 gives rise to ethanol which is liquid here water if water is vapor it is not heat of formation similarly if ethanol is vapor it is not heat of formation try to understand elements in their standard state have zero enthalpy of formation this you should know so this see the table here <clears throat> tabulated format you can see here elemental from silver its heat of formation is zero similarly bromine it is zero calcium zero chlorine elements are so gases they are all zero f2 zero h2 zero i2 zero potassium zero o2 zero so zinc zero sodium zero so heat of formation is zero for elemental forms try to understand this yeah now very important this slide is very important many times asked in the competitive examination sulfur which is the most stable allotrope rhombic or monoclinic so monoclinic i think sir rhombic rhombic, rhombic is more stable that's why it's zero okay sir. similarly phosphorus which is the most stable form red white. phosphorus or white phosphorus white. white phosphorus white phosphorus carbon diamond which is thermodynamically more stable graphite graphite Yes. So these three have been asked in the examination. So, so when you are preparing SO two, sulfur plus oxygen gives rise to SO two. So what you are going to use? Monoclinic sulfur or rhombic sulfur? Rhombic sulfur. Rhombic sulfur. Yes, you have to use rhombic. Similarly, in the preparation of methane, you have to use graphite. Any uh, any carb uh, carbon compound. You have to use graphite. Don't use diamond. Clear or not? Similarly, any phosphorus compound, P two O five, P H three, P two H four, P C L five. Anything you want to make or you want to prepare. So, what you have to use? Which phosphorus you use? White phosphorus. White phosphorus. White phosphorus. Is it? So, hope you are all clear. Now. See, listen carefully. <clears throat> Always, heat of reaction. Heat of reaction is equal to heat of formation of products minus heat of formation of reaction. So, heat of formation will be given. Elements they don't give. Gases they don't give. Zero. So, products minus reactants gives heat of reaction. Net heat of reaction. So, always remember this. Okay. Let us see. An example. Let us see this example. Calculate the standard enthalpy change for the following reaction. They have given standard enthalpy of formation of water, NO two, and HNO three. They have given the value of oxygen. You know very well because it is a zero. It's elemental state. O two zero is zero. So products minus reactants. So products means how many products are there here? How many moles are there? Four. Four moles. So four into four into how much? Minus one seventy three. Clear or not? 
Yes, yes sir. Minus 173 is given na, here for nitric acid. This value is for nitric acid. Clear or not? This value. So, 4 into minus 173 minus minus reactants. This is 0. These values are given how much? 2 into water. Water is given how much? 33. So, sorry. Minus 286. Yes, so 2 sir. into minus 286. Minus 286. Uh, 4 into 33. This is 0. So, answer will be this is the heat of reaction. Clear or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, this is how you have to find out the heat of reaction when the heat of formation is given. Okay. Now, once I complete the concepts of thermochemistry, I solve a lot of almost 225 questions. I'll solve so that the whole chapter will be revised. Now, heat of combustion. So, what is the definition? What is the definition? I'll give something for you. Here, for example, CH4 plus O2 gives rise to CO plus water. Is it heat of combustion? No, sir. Why? Ah, yes, sir. It is heat of combustion. CH4 plus O2 gives rise to formaldehyde. You have studied already in methane. methane. CH4 plus O2 gives rise to methanol. You have studied already these things. These are the partial oxidation products. You have studied, right? In alkane chapter. Yes, sir. Alkane chapter. Yes, sir. CH4 will give methanol. Will give formaldehyde. Will give formic acid. Do you know? These are all yes, partial sir. oxidation products. But listen carefully. Combustion reaction. Any combustion reaction, CO2 water should be the final products. Are you following or not? Yes, sir. Partial oxidation products like carbon monoxide, all these products are not allowed. Clear or not? So that is not a combustion reaction. You can see here, CO2 water is there. Clear or not? Clear or not? Yes, sir. So, one, one mole of compound is burnt. One mole of compound only. Don't take two moles of compound. One, one mole of compound is subjected to combustion. It leads to the formation of CO2 and water. One mole of ethane is subjected to combustion and leads to the formation of CO2 water. So this heat is called heat of combustion. And listen carefully. Heat of combustion is always exothermic reaction. What is it? In all these cases, what happens to the heat? Exothermic reaction. Releases, yeah. sir. So heat will be definitely released in all these reactions. Clear or not? In all these reactions, heat will be released. So because exothermic reactions are always, so combustion reactions are always exothermic. 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 So this much you should know. And always remember one mole of the substance should be completely burnt, always. One mole of substance should be always completely burnt. You cannot take two moles of substance. That is, a, You cannot claim that is a combustion reaction. It is not a combustion reaction. So combustion means only one mole of substance will be burnt. Next. So what is the use of it? So calorific value, foods and fuels, okay, we'll come to know. Now, so to listen carefully, to understand the heat of combustion, there is an experiment called bomb calorimeter. So this is a bomb calorimeter. Now listen, I'll explain the elements of it, the bomb calorimeter. Now, this is insulator. This is insulator. This insulation is there. Now, see here, this is bomb. And this is conducting. This surface is conducting. This is a conducting. Steel. Steel is used sometimes. Yeah. See, this is given. See, insulating jacket is given already. Agree or not? Yeah. So, here yeah, this is called bomb. Crucible. 
this crucible is called bomb he says this as bomb in that substance is kept can you see yellow one this is the substance okay yes, sir now these are connected these wires magnesium wires okay ignition wires magnesium wires these are connected here can you see here connected these are connected to the magnesium wires with one magnesium wires okay and now uh here these water the blue blue stuff is there right this water can you see here water this blue is water now this here air also will be there here air will be this is air space here air will be there this this air will be there so combustion means what air is required okay now and outside so if he is this is a stirrer and here there is a thermometer here there is a thermometer now let us see what to do first thing is we have a compound here this is a compound the yellow compound this yellow one is a compound sample see this is a sample is given and now in the presence of air so give a spark there is a combustion so because of the combustion what happens lot of heat will be evolved and you know this is a conducting this is a conducting surface the heat will be calorimeter that is a calorimeter na yes, the so heat will heat be released will be out transfer the, to water it will be transferred to water now you stir it so when you stir it what what happens uniformly heat will be distributed in water okay so before the start of the reaction you take the temperature thermometer is there you measure it t1 t4 so after sparking so again you take it you get t2 so t2 minus t1 that gives delta t so delta t is the difference in temperature do you agree or not yes sir yeah. yeah so i hope you understood that is how this experiment is carried out so a sample is taken air is blown it is ignited combustion takes place heat will be released the heat will be passed through calorimeter into water and water will be stirred heat becomes uniform throughout the water and here temperature is measured so this is the procedure now so that's what i said this is the description construction of bomb calorimeter a steel bomb is there okay combustion of fuel is made so naturally these are all i already explained to you stirrer everything okay uniform see uniform stirring of water is continued maximum temperature is recorded now this is the three dimensional view exactly how the setup is done this is the bomb now this is outside stirrer and now how to calculate listen carefully q is equal to heat capacity into delta t you can calculate this way or you can also do one thing q is equal to n is the number of moles c is the here specific this is the bomb color this is the heat capacity s is the specific heat capacity so c is the bomb calorimeter this is water so there are two things are there one is calorimeter at this water so next similarly this also can be calculated as this way mst ms delta t you have studied in physics so m is the mass of the bomb calorimeter s is the specific heat capacity delta t is the temperature difference mass of water specific heat of water and delta t so trick is so c into t2 minus t1 heat capacity so delta e is equal to q by n okay so for example if you take n moles of substance having q n is for example x grams you have taken in the bomb calorimeter x by m gives molecular weight gives n moles so n moles gives q heat so 1 gram gives how much so it will be q by n sorry this side how much heat will be evolved q by n it becomes q by n so this q by n is nothing but delta e 
So Q is what? This one. N is what weight by mole per weight. So this is how you can calculate delta E. Because why? It is at constant volume. Constant volume or not? This experiment is constant volume or not? Yes, Those sir. are open. Yes, yes sir. sir. That's why constant volume is what you get. Central energy. Agreed or not? Yes, now sir. Can yes, see sir. You. One question. 12.2 grams of solid benzoic acid is combusted in bomb calorimeter at 27 degrees centigrade. The temperature raised from PV Radicha, stay mute. The temperature raised from 27 degrees centigrade to 77 degrees centigrade. If the heat capacity of calorimeter is 50 joule per degree centigrade, calculate the change in internal energy. It's very simple. First, Q is equal to C. What is the C value? 50 joule per degree. T2 minus T1. Degree, degree gets cancelled. Okay. So, you get in joules. 2500 joules. It's clear or not? The difference is 50 na, here. T2 minus T1. So, that 50 I have written. Now, delta E is equal to Q by N. Q value is 2500. What is the N value? Weight by molecular weight. 12.2 is the weight. So, molecular weight of benzoic acid is 122. So, 0 0.1. That is 2500 by 0 0.1. It becomes 25,000 joules. Clear or not? Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, how to molar enthalpy? Molar enthalpy. How to calculate molar enthalpy? Anyone? Could you help me? Molar enthalpy. How to calculate? Delta H is equal to delta E plus. Help me. Delta L S. Delta N R T. Agreed or not? 27 degrees centigrade. The temperature is given. R, you know. Delta E value, you know, 25,000 joules. And what you have to find? Delta, Delta N. Delta, Delta N, how to find? Delta N. C6H5. COH. Benzoic acid. Okay. It is a solid. Plus O2. Use the H2. CO2 plus water. You have to balance this reaction. Yes, sir. Minus one. Yeah. Then yeah. you get the you get the gaseous moles. Do you agree or not? Yes, sir. You substitute here, you get the delta H. So delta E and delta H can be found out by using this principle. Any doubt? No, no sir. sir. Fine. Now this is a simple formula. Can you see weight by molecular weight? Q by Weight by molecular weight. Do you agree or not? Yes, sir. Yeah, this is in one step because the reaction, whatever heat, Y minus Q, heat is released. So that is absorbed by calorimeter. So Q calorimeter is equal to minus Q reaction. So Q reaction is nothing but change in internal energy. So now let us see. One of the most rated topic okay, in thermochemistry, heat of neutralization. Now listen very carefully. So we'll solve heat of combustion numericals in the following sessions. Now listen carefully. See, heat of formation, heat of reaction. What do you have written? Del sigma HF. Products okay. minus, products minus sigma. Reactants. Reactants. But heat of combustion, you have to write reactants minus products. Remember, don't write products minus reactants. Bond energy, heat of combustion, these two. I'll explain later again while solving numericals. Now, heat of neutralization, listen carefully. So this is the reaction. So, actually, truly speaking, when you add NaOH, a strong acid and a strong base, so delta H will be 57.3 kilojoules per mole, one mole. Similarly, delta H is equal to minus, this is minus, 
because heat of neutralization is negative. Minus 13.7 kilocalories per mole. These are the values. So this heat is formed H plus plus OH minus gives rise to water. So neutralization takes place. So how neutralization takes place, I'm going to explain this. So when you add this reaction, listen carefully. Na plus is stable. Cl minus is stable. So what is left out? OH plus plus H, H plus. H plus. Use the H2 water. So this is, this is forming heat. Minus 13.7 low calories of heat. Or minus 57.3 kilojoules per mole. This is giving heat. So this is called heat of neutralization. So first point. Now listen carefully. So this is the basic level zero. Now next level. Now listen carefully. So whenever a strong acid or strong base is used, you're getting 57.3 kilocalories. Now listen carefully. Now for example, I take NaOH, listen very carefully, plus HCl. Now, I take here one mole, one mole. What will be the heat? What will be the heat? 57.3. Minus 57.3 kilojoule per, per mole. Agreed? Yes. Now listen carefully. If you take here two and two, what is the, what is the heat? Sir, two times of minus 57.3. Yes, Excellent. 57.3 kilojoule per mole. Very good. Clear or not? Yes, sir. Yes, now, sir. if I take 0.5, this also 0.5, how much you will get? 0.5. Very good. Cool. Now, if you take here 2 mole and 1 mole. So, 1 into 57.3. Very good. Which is one, only 1 mole is taken. No? Yeah, one, one mole, mole is taken. Na? Because limiting, na? Yes, which sir. is limiting? limiting? Which is limiting? HCl is HCL. limiting. So only 57.3 minus 57.3 moles only will be released. Clear or not? Yes, yes sir. sir. Here, 1, 2. Sir, minus 57.3. Minus 57.3. 3 only will be released. Are you clear or not? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Very good. Yes, sir. Very good. Now, let us take one more. H2SO4 plus NaOH. I'm taking. Okay. Now, now listen here. Here, one molar, one molar. How much I get heat? 57.3. Minus 57.3. Good. Minus. Okay. Next. 2 molar, 1 molar. Minus 57.3. Minus 57.3, sir. Soup, soup. Here, 2 H plus is giving. 1 mole is giving how many H plus? 2, two sir. Two. 2. Here, 2 molar is there. So, how much I'll get? Minus 2 into 57.3, sir. Are you clear or not? So I didn't, uh, didn't get this point. So. Because 1H2SO4 is, uh, two, one H2SO4 is giving 2H plus. Here, 2H two, two NaOH is giving. Minus 57.3. Minus 57.3. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. Yes, sir. Very good. Yes, sir. Very good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, listen carefully. Now, listen carefully. One normal, two normal. Answer. So minus two into fifty-seven point three. Minus two into fifty-seven point three. Seven point three. Wrong, wrong. See, normality is given. Normality is given only one mole only should take na. Normality. It is limiting. Molarity is given. See, n is equal to n m. Yes, 
Are you following or not? Directly normality yes. is given. Here, molality is given, then you take two moles. Normality is given, one mole only you should take, na? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, limiting. I hope you understood. Yes, sir. Clear or not? They are very tricky. Yes, sir. Now, two molar, one molar. Two molar is how many H plus? Two minus 50. How many H plus? Four H plus. Four H plus. Four H plus. But here it is limiting, na? Yes, yes, sir. Sir, minus 57.3. Minus 57.3 only. Minus 57.3 only. Are you following my words? Yes, sir. Very good. This much you understood, all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. Now, most of the competitive questions you answered already. Now, listen. Now, see, that's why half mole is given. Half mole, how much you got here? 57.3. So half mole only is given. That is 1H plus. Yes, sir. And 1OH yes, minus. Agreed, na? Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, SCL KOH, cool. 57.3. HNO3 KOH, cool. 57.3. Yes, sir. 57.3. Now, this is dibasic. Yes, sir. 2OH minus it will give, sir. This is also 57.3. Half, sir. Yes, sir. So, up to here, cool. Any doubts now? No, no sir. sir. No, sir. Also. Now doubts will be there. Listen carefully. Now, here, here how much is coming? 16. 16, 16 sir. Very less is coming. Na? So, so let us see why this? Why this? So, shall we take this one? HT acid and NaOH? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. PH3, COH plus NaOH. So, how much is coming? 55. 50. Delta H neutralization is given only 55 minus. Let us see how to answer this. Very simple. Listen carefully. Actually, how much should, I get? should we get? How much should we get? Right? 57. How much you got? 50 minus 55. What is the difference? 2.3, sir. 2.3. Very good. Now listen carefully. Now, actually, minus 57.3 you got, actually. But listen carefully. A part of the energy is used. What is this acid? What is this acid? Weak acid, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, to break this bond, this is called heat of ionization. What is it? Heat of ionization. Heat of ionization. See, this, this CH3, listen carefully. CH3, C, O, OH. This bond is weak, na? In other, yes, in other acids and all, easily H plus will be donated. This will donate H plus. This will donate H plus readily. No, sir. It will not. No, Why sir. it will not? Because yes, it's a weak acid. So what you have to do? A part of the energy released is used to break this bond. Are you clear or not? Yes, sir. That is called heat of heat of ionization. ionization. Yes, heat of ionization. Are you clear or not? Are yes, you clear sir. or not? Yeah. Now listen carefully. Heat of ionization plus heat of neutralization should become fifty-seven point three. But strong acids body the heat of ionization. Zero. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Zero. Yes, sir. Now, now listen carefully. How much is coming? 55 is coming for, for what? Minus 55 Deak is acid. coming for what? Weak acid. Weak acid. So, minus 55 is coming, right? Then, this is heat of neutralization, right? And what is the heat of ionization? 2.3. Okay, excellent. Very good. Are you following or not? So, Heat of ionization will be endothermic or exothermic? Exothermic. Exothermic. Endo na. ACOH, stick acid, ACOH. You're you're breaking this bond na. Bond breaking is exo or endo? Endo. Endo, endo sir. Endo sir. Endo. So heat of ionization is always endothermic. Endothermic. So plus two point three kilojoules is the heat of ionization. 
are you following yes, or not sir. Yes, yes sir actually 57.3 should come minus should come but plus 2.3 theta finalization gives rise to 55 minus yes sir are you clear or not yes Now sir yes sir any week anything week anything week will be what less than 57.3 less than 57.3 Are you following my words? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, very good. Now listen carefully. For HF, its value is sixty. <laughs> Why it is sixty? Maximum how much should be there? Fifty-seven point three, sir. Minus fifty-seven point three. Why sixty is coming? Listen carefully. HF is having something. What is that? हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग सो बॉन्ड फॉर्मिंग इज व्हाट प्रोसेस सर एक्सोथर्मिक प्रोसेस एक्सोथर्मिक में हीट इज रिलीज्ड और हीट इज रिलीज्ड हीट इज रिलीज्ड सो सो -57.3 इज व्हाट हीट ऑफ न्यूट्रलाइजेशन यस सर रिमेनिंग विल बी व्हाट हीट ऑफ फॉर्मेशन हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग Are you following or not? Yes, yes sir. Yeah. yeah. So this is how we should work out heat of neutralization numericals. Are you clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So today we have learned heat of combustion and heat of neutralization. Clear or not? Yeah. And now let us see what is Hessel law. Whether the reaction takes place in one step or multiple step, it will be the same. That is called Hess law. So, enthalpy change of the reaction is same when the reaction takes place in one step or in several steps. See, reaction. How many steps it took place here? Three, sir. Three, three steps. Sir. One, two, three steps. Then. Single step. This is single step. Both are same. So delta H R is equal to delta H one plus delta H two plus delta H three. H three. Sir, it is state is function, sir. Yes. And that will be state function only. This is Hessel. So this will be using Hessel in thermochemistry very much. Now example, Bohn Haber cycle. You know very well. Bohn Haber cycle. You know Bohn Haber cycle. Hmm. This this will help you to calculate all these things. We'll solve all these things. Don't worry. Can you calculate? See here, how many? See, this is one step. Right, na? Yes, this sir. This heat of formation is yes, many steps. Right, na? Yes, so can you tell me how do you get this? How do you get this? Technical tell you. CO two is which side? Left or right? Left side, sir. Left side. The soup. Here, here, very which side? Here it is left side. Here which side? Right side, sir. That means you should do minus. When you do minus, what happens? Reverse reaction will be reversed. Yes, yes sir. sir. Clear or not? Now H two is which side? So H2 is on left. Yeah, plus only. Plus only. Plus. 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 उटर सिंगल स्टेप और 
series of steps you get the yes, same answer sir. here you get the same answer are you yes, clear sir. so these are heat yes, of formation yes, so from the heat of formation you got the heat of reaction are you clear or not yes sir yes, yes sir. sir so today we have learned heat of combustion and heat of neutralization okay and uh, i'll teach you daily two to three uh, topics so that you get acquainted the next session we'll be seeing very important topic heat of atomization bond energy uh, heat of solution heat of dilution heat of hydration these things you are going to learn any doubts please sir once can you tell how to uh, what is bomb calorimeter how to catch so that equation uh, i didn't done bomb equal this equation yes yes sir. this is very simple actually bomb calorimeter is having see here you have water and calorimeter na yes sir yes sir so both both you have considered that's it bomb and water you both you have considered bomb yes, and sir. water you have considered yes okay, okay. Anyho, thanks for bearing. Sir. Yeah, please. Sir, could you upload the uh, recorded session in my app, sir? Yeah, fine. I'll upload it. Thank you, sir. 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 Good thank evening you, and thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank. You.